All right, here it is. Frozen. Into the ground. Ah. I'm gonna have a rough day. I'm probably gonna have to get me a bottle of water to pour over everything. I got here early and now the ground is so frozen I can't even tell where I've walked. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there. There we go. First point of the day. All right. See if I can have a day like I did yesterday. Hopefully I'll find something really nice. Let's get with it. Time to get it on. Check it out. Perfect little snap. Beautiful little base. All right, let's find something else. I think I've got one here. Looks like the tips broke off of it. Yep. I'm definitely not having as good a day as what I did yesterday. It's like today, it's like turning off the water spigot from yesterday. And that's very aggravating. But I'm thinking I'm in a better spot now. So let's try to see what we can do here and see if we can turn the tide. All right, bag it and tag it. Well, uh, clip this out here. It's not like the most extravagant point, you know. But it's a point. The days, I don't know, it's a beautiful day. The wind was blowing earlier and that, it was miserable. It was just a steady wind. And I took my hoodie off and I thought, oh, it's getting hot. It's gonna be great. Took my hoodie off. About five minutes later, I walked away from my hoodie. I was about 100 yards away, and the wind started just blowing. I'm like, man, I got to go back and get my hoodie and put it back on. So after that point, it blew for a good hour and a half, two hours. Finally quit. So hopefully, I can find a couple points here in this little area. It's not too bad. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, just pop this thing up. Man, I wish I could just find a big serrated point, like a paleo or something, as much ground as I cover. You would think I could find one ever now and again. I mean, it's just like, there's two points that I found. A big paleo and that big sawtooth pine tree with the broken base that were like the two best points I've ever found. And I found those in an area where I hardly ever find any other points. And it's just a terrible place to hunt. You can hunt there for days and not find hardly a point at all. And where I find all the points at, I can't find big stuff like that. So I just don't get it. But we soldier on and we, you know, we hope and pray that we're gonna find something nice but uh, I, I just wished I could find something that was really, really neat. Like a good ax head, a good gorget, something, you know? I think I deserve one. But anyway, there's another little point. 
and I know I'm complaining and a lot of people say, well, you find a lot of stuff, you know, you ain't got no reason to complain, but you know, I just, I'm never happy. I always want more. I could find 20 of these right here in one day and still be like, I wanted something more. <laughs> uh, well, let's get to it. Try to find you another one. All right. Just popped another one out. One's a decent little piece. Not bad. Not bad. find something else things are picking up <laughs> I don't know why some days you'll just be like you can't buy an arrowhead if they had a stand selling them on the side of the water and, and then all of a sudden tides change and you'll start finding them so that's a decent it's a decent piece right there. Get it cleaned off. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, man, it looks like one of the little wings is broke off of that stem. Maybe, right there. Looks like it might have had another one coming out here. I don't know. But anyhow, there's another one. I found another one. Not the best, but it's a point. Looks like the tip is gone. Glued all the way up through the back, though. All right, let's find something else. I think I've got one. Yeah, it's a busted up piece, but it's worked. All right, let's find something else. All right. Man, that would have been nice if that little top edge wouldn't have been busted out of it. That would have been perfect. It's got, uh, Nice edge on it, right there. All right, let's find something else. Looks like I've got something here. Something. I'm trying to make an executive decision on that stem. It's hard to tell. And uh, just found this. I didn't film it, but let me see if I can get it in the light. It's got indentions in it. It's like a rock, but it's got like the saw edge going down through here. It's got indentions in it. So I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna take it home and clean it up and check it out. I'll show it to you later. If this is anything or not. All right, it's getting late. Looks like I've got something right here. Yes. Oh man, it looks like, I don't know if that's busted out or not. Right there. I can't tell. Looks like the cortex is still on it right there, so I don't know if it busted out or not, but that's a heck of a little nice scraper. All right, so I think I'm heading to the house. Okay, I just wanted to show 
everything that I found, but I don't think I filmed this one. If I did, I apologize. It just looks like they were working it out and they didn't get the bottom end finished on this one, which is pretty neat. It was almost completed and they left that there. Found this, uh, just had an indention there and here on this side. Here's that piece that I was telling you about. You see the uh, indentions on the side. You see it real good in the light right there. I think it's pottery, I don't know. And then this piece here, I found, I didn't film. I've been told that uh, they thought it was a net weight. I thought it was a piece of metal. I thought it was part of the cannonball when I first found it. It looked like metal until I cleaned it up. But some of the better stuff. broke there and they just resharpened it trying to salvage material decent little point there Good little thick tip right here. Little piece of a stem. Base. There's a good little base I found. Snap up. I just wanted to show y'all. Uh, still think that's a neat piece right there. Somebody knows what it is for sure, let me know. All right, thank you.